Hello students. Welcome back to another lesson of art and design. Today, we will look at colography using the subtractive method. In the subtractive method, a relief style plate is created for printing by carving into cardboard or wooden substrates. Just like the additive method, a piece of paper is then placed on top of the ink surface to transfer the design. Materials required for colography are corrugated cardboards, round tip scissors, adhesive glue, black acrylic or water based paint, roller, thick printing glass, a free size or an improvised piece of tile, plain paper. 120 grams recommended, and a spoon. The safe handling of all materials before, during, and after the activity is of utmost importance. Let us consider the good practice for printing. Wear an apron. Wear a pair of disposable gloves if you are allergic to paint, use non-toxic paint and cover your working area with all newspapers. Step one, make a simple drawing on a paper. Shade the parts to be incised. Step two, transfer the drawing onto a cardboard same size as the paper. Incise and remove the shaded parts using any sharp implement. Step three, place black paint on a thick printing slab and use a roller to spread the paint evenly all over. Step four, ink the plate using a roller. Step five, place the ink plate over the registration sheet. Position the paper over the plate. Step six, use the back of a spoon and rub evenly over the paper. Step seven, remove the paper slowly to reveal the print. Here is a color graph using the subtractive method. Let us have a look at some further ideas on the subtractive method. Here is an interpretation of a portrait. For this color graph, the printmaker has incised the composition on a flat cardboard. And lastly, this abstract colored color graph depicts a figure playing guitar. Dear students, I hope that after this lesson, you will start creating your own plates for color graphing. Enjoy your printmaking. Goodbye.